What's up, everybody? This is the Palmer Squares. And you're listening to the Average AF Podcast. This is Dan Cummins, and you're listening to the Average as Fuck Podcast. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Catalyst Bars, and you're listening to the Average AF Podcast. Let's get it. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 52 of the Average AF Podcast. Yo. I am Hello. here with Steve for the last time. Oh, it's oh. a sad day. And uh, here Sounds with crazy. Mr. Ryan Baker as well. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. I feel feels good to be back. Yeah. I yeah. It's it. good to have you back. I think this is your third appearance on the show. It is now. Um, and moving forward after this episode, Mr. Baker is going to be the <sighs> co host. Uh, oh, yes. He's going to move up. Hard shoes to, to fill, though. Yes. Uh, thank you. I, I appreciate that, <laughs> my sir. He, um, he's gonna level up in microphones next week. He's gonna <laughs> yeah, get yeah upgraded. <laughs> um, but yeah, we wanted to to do a kind of a joint episode uh, as the last hurrah kind of thing uh, with me, the consistent co-host through this whole thing. <laughs> Steve, uh, the old co- co-host. By the time you're hearing this, and Baker with uh, you know being the new co-host. So, yes. um. I yes. will say, we've been having a fuck ton of technical difficulties today. Yes. Shit so that just, like, many. No doesn't, has never happened before, like, Literally. any of it. Literally. Um, whether it was with the GoPro or not, <laughs> like, with the fucking... It was fucking everything. Everything. The We'd audio it, was and chopped. The other one would break. Yeah. It was just all kinds of fucked up. So, uh, hopefully we can make it through an hour. Um, yes. Hopefully the, the GoPro and the Roadcaster and all that kind of cooperate with us. But yes, please stay do. with us, everything, and everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> real quick, before we actually get into the episode, we have a couple kind of big announcements. We're going to try to make these not take forever, but there are quite a few of them. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, so the first thing is on Patreon. We just got over $100 on the Patreon Oh, my God. I hit the button for that. Nice. <laughs> um, got to hit the button for that. So thank you guys. Great work with that, you guys. <laughs> um, Good ideas. Yes. Awesome job. Thank you guys to uh, Danielle, Nate, and Michael for becoming Patreon uh, members this week. Uh, Nate actually became a Patreon producer Whoa. as well. Um, I wanted to give Good him a stuff, shout out. Nate. Yeah, I wanted to give Good him work. a shout out because uh, because he actually elected for his, you know, at the name or at the end of the episode, we can put your name on the outro screen just as a, a thank you. He elected to put uh, Equal Justice Initiative rather than his oh, name just awesome. to kind of spread some awareness. So. Shout out to him. Um, so yeah. you will see that Big on our to you, sir. on our outro. Very thoughtful of you. And then Michael actually became a small business sponsor as well. Ooh, so whoa. he is our first yes, hit it official again. sponsor. Whoa. Um, so thank you to him. You guys yes. will hear about that, you know, in the middle of the show as well. Absolutely. Um, but do you want to tell him about the the new thing that happened this oh, Friday. Yeah. Oh yeah, we oh, got. I'm excited. We got merch. Yeah, I want the. I want the. Da, 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 like the whatever <laughs> yes. the fuck. I didn't. Um, you can get to all of it directly through the website, averagejfpodcast.com. Yeah. Um, shout out to all of you who've already purchased stuff. Like overwhelming. Um, Adam came to my house. Was it night before last? Uh, yeah. And yep. told me like, dude, we already got. So many sales already, and I was like, "Whoa!" It right. hadn't even been twelve hours exactly yet. So, right. um, uh-huh. yeah, in the first twenty-four hours, we sold over two hundred dollars worth of merch, which that was ooh, crazy. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah, which is crazy. Oh, it's not not expected, and that's that was just from our patrons. Um, by the time this episode comes out, I think we're gonna I can't announce wait for it. The by uh, the way, the I was merch. one of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh yeah. We're gonna announce the merch. Uh, publicly Tuesday, so the day before you see this as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully that continues. We got shirts, we got yeah. hoodies, we got we Let's actually got get it. We got face masks, we got coffee mugs, uh, we got a little bit of everything. So stuff for the ladies. Yeah. You know, I guess the guys can wear it too yeah, if they like wanted that. to. Right. I but <laughs> right. <laughs> we tried to cater to the ladies a little bit. Um a few different color options for all of it. Um like he said, a little bit of uh, everything. Um that you could possibly 
keep in mind too, I, I noticed uh, after we launched it that depending on the color of something that you get d- depends on the size that you can get up to. Okay. So no. um, everything is available up to 2X for the bigger fellas and ladies like myself um, that need 3X or up. Yeah, there like the, are options. The bigger ladies like Adam, Adam yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Good work. But uh, there's nice options wording. on there too, but <laughs> only certain ones. Um, it's yeah. just all they had available. So, um, but there is something for everybody on yes. there. So definitely check sure. that out. Yes, um, I seriously can't wait though. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm excited. The uh, the there's a pretty dope hoodie on there. I don't want to say what it is now. I just want to <laughs> have people see what it is. Um, but there's a there's a pretty dope hoodie on there that's been our our big seller. So yeah. and it's cool how you put a little bit of everything, literally like right. everything on there, including the mask. The right. masks are hit. I mean, it sucks. Right. God, I, sucks. I honestly didn't think but we would a sell hit. a mask, but we already did. Yeah. So hey, yeah. one's one. You know, hey, yeah. so uh, shout out to all of our patrons for, like I said, putting us over the two hundred dollar mark already in Crazy. in the first day. So mm-hmm. um, hopefully you guys can add to that as well. Um, and uh, and we'll go from there, but. Uh yeah we we do you want to do voice messages right now? Uh oh, which ones? Or uh, yeah, because I don't know how long that's gonna take. So let's get those out. Okay, so last week and really the week before, I guess we asked people to send in voice messages for Steve um, as his last you know hurrah yeah, on yeah. the on the uh, podcast. So I was going to put them on the soundboard. Uh, but there's too many. So, Ooh. are you ready for it? So instead of doing ready. like oh, okay. five or something on the soundboard and a couple on my phone, I just left them all on my phone. Yeah. So yeah, let's see, let's hear it. All right. Um, we'll go in the order that we received them in. All right. Um, this one has a little bit of background noise. I, I think he was driving, so just be weary of that. <laughs> Heads up. Hey guys, this is Justin here, long time listener, hey. first time caller. What's up, Justin? I just want to say, Steve, thank you for all the work you put in and glad you were on the show. Glad I could be on the show with you both. And it was really fun being on there with you and I forgot making about this one. the radio voice guy <laughs> speechless <laughs> the entire time I was on there. It was a blast <laughs> and hilarious. But I just wanted to put one thing to you put adam on the spot what is one pet peeve that you have of adam that you just want to just oh. punch him in the wow. fucking face man yeah. man that question at the end too. wow it's that question is right off. crazy because i know you got something you just don't want to say it but <laughs> oh and he's calling you out and Shoot. hope all oh. is well and hope you're the best <laughs> love you guys stay safe Way yes. to end on a positive. Thank, so, thank you, Justin. Way to end on a positive. Such a positive note right. after he called both of you out. <laughs> no, we we appreciate Justin. I'm excited for this, Great though, honesty. because... Hell yeah, you would be. This is how we grow as yeah. Yeah. as friends. This is great. And great question. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly excited about this because I don't get offended, right? right. So you can say whatever you want, and I'm going to probably laugh. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, so, I, I genuinely have to think about that, man, because... Man, I was hoping you'd be uh, like this and this and this and this. Fuck you when you do this. Fuck. It's, it's, a, uh, it's, yeah. it's a short list, bro. That's a good uh, thing, see? I, I guess. It's a good thing. Man, I don't like you I'm lying really... to my face, but that's good. One pet peeve. <laughs> he said that makes you want to punch me in the face. Bro, that's yeah, very specific. <laughs> very specific. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh, I can't wait to hear this. Bro, Um, I'm honestly racking my brain right now. Like. You're going to let him down if you don't come up All with right. something. All right. I'm, 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 uh, man, you know what? Uh-oh. The only thing I can really think of, bro, to be all the way honest, is when we lived together. You know what I mean? Um, There was there was issues with, with, with cleaning and things right. like that. And I know we had another roommate um, at the time who would verbally gripe to me all the time. But right. you know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. But it wasn't like... My personal space, so I understand where he was coming from, yeah. and it was a thing, you know what I mean. We had pets and stuff, but we both felt like you didn't pull your weight as far as um, properly taking care of those animals. Okay, but now that we moved out, you know, I don't have to deal with that shit no more. So it was kind of like that was really honestly about the only thing. 
thing right. on, on my kids. Right. Like, I can't think of nothing that happens today that, you know, like you just said, Anything like everything, new. all the, right, all the honest feedback that we give each other, it helps you grow. Right. So, you know, you get to a point, if you want to grow yeah. anyway, to where, you know, you learn to take that shit and um, use it for, you know what I mean? I not understand anything that he would, you would tell me. Right. It's coming from a place of, you know, trying to help me grow or get right. better at whatever the fuck I'm trying to do or whatever. So, right. or we're doing. So, um, I'm, I hope that that answered your question. <laughs> Uh, Justin, but, uh, all right, guys. So we all just changed clothes real quick. We got a little too sweaty in here. Um, (laughs) man, that session was, I know the first 10 minutes we got, we got heated, you know? (laughs) Um, but yeah, so if, if you guys, uh, watched last week, we had some issues with the GoPro, um, and this week we also had some issues with the GoPro, even more so, as well as right. more issues with the audio and everything like that. Basically, uh, the last forty-five minutes or so of the episode is. I don't know just, what happened last week, but it was a lot just when I was here yesterday and today. Yeah, <laughs> but like the audio, the episode just was not even usable. Like we couldn't salvage it or anything like that. So uh, we are back the following day to actually finish the recording. Obviously, it's going to look a little different because we're back on the webcam (laughs) rather than the GoPro because just, you know, fuck the GoPro, basically. It's (laughs) causing so many issues, so. Damn. Um, Before we get into it, though, uh, I do want to mention, obviously, yesterday, we, or Steve, I guess, already heard these. So fucked it up. Yeah, I really wish you would have got yesterday's version because it was so passionate. It right. was about it was a deep. lot of it, man. Right. Um, it's gonna be hard to bring that same energy, but here we go. Right. So keep that in mind. Um, you know we're we're gonna try to do the best <laughs> we can. So, hey Steve, it's Big Tom. Congrats on fifty two episodes, man. Hey, but where can we find your music at? Are you on YouTube? You on Spotify? Where can we hear these dope beats, brother? Uh, first of all, thank you, Tommy. Appreciate you. You've been a day one. Um, doing this thing with us from day one, literally. Yep. yep. Um, can't ask any more of you than that, sir. Um, generally, I don't. My whole thing with the music is, you know, there's a thousand people posting their shit on Instagram and. What have you? So um, I'm not really into that. Um, I'm, I'm, I, my whole thing with it is I want to go straight to the people who can make shit happen, and rather than expect to be um, found through social media sites. Not to say that doesn't happen, but I feel like I will up my chances significantly if I was able to go to, you know, um, the bigger cities and where shit really happens at. Uh, corona kind of fucked that up. But I did kind of plan on, you know, traveling more and just getting out and actually meeting people, showing my face that I want to, I want them to be able to put a face to what they hear and what they see. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, yeah, I actually met dude. Right. I, I feel like I'm much more likely to get in somewhere doing something that way versus than just, you know, not to say that doesn't help, you know, the social media stuff. But um, I, I started to create an Instagram, but I was like, you know what? I'm not even feeling it right now. And I probably will finish that. But like I said, my, my biggest thing is actually taking my shit to people and letting them hear it in person and letting them meet me as well. So I think they can see the passion in that, too, more yeah. in person. Because, yeah. like, on social media and stuff like that, like, you may have to record it a couple of times. And right. you're going to get it to where you want it to be at. Right. When you do it in person, though, man. Right. They're going to see, like, straight up you, right. which is nice. Right, 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 right. You know, because, um, I mean, you could have dope beats, but that doesn't necessarily mean you fit in the culture of whatever label you're with or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Um, I think I would cut out a lot of bullshit up front if I was just able to go straight to them and like, look, here's my card. I got these CDs or whatever. You know, I got right. the flat, flash, whatever the hell you want to, however you want to listen to right, it. I, I got, got it. it. Right. I got flash drives. I got CDs. I got <laughs> fucking floppy disks. You can use those still. <laughs> got so, that cassette recorder, man. <laughs> you know, right. um, so Tommy, uh, if you want to hear something directly, though, I will definitely email you some stuff. That's what I do with my brother who's in Cincinnati. I just... You know, I drop him a few tracks every now and then via email. So, um, if you rather go that route, that's that's probably what I'll do for you, sir. Um, and as Steve's official publicist, I will say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> expect a mixtape, summer twenty twenty one. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, 
This next one's a fucking champion. I love it. I will <laughs> you. Yep. And you even know who this was before they started right, talking. Right. I was <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, Steve, it's your girl Jackie. <laughs> just reaching out to send you a farewell message. I cannot believe you're leaving the Average AF podcast. It has been such a pleasure listening and more recently watching you over the last several months. You were the first podcast I binged. Wow. So it's going to be really strange for right. me Damn, if you're not there. But I look forward to you making guest appearances and I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Um, it was so nice getting to know you listening and then actually getting to meet you when you had Emily and me on for your guests. It was just wonderful. And I wish you nothing but the best. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Perfect intro and outro, man. Right. Jackie's been our biggest cheerleader um, yes. since day one. Yes, um, always full of life, always full of energy, um, and that's a joy to have in the world of crazy shit right now. Um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And um, <laughs> like he said, I knew it was you before. Right. I'm like this is some <laughs> shit that she would do. I just right. got sensed it. Right. Uh, yeah, thank you for everything. I hope everything goes well with your podcast with Emily as well. You know, that keeps the go keeps continuing to go up, 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 up. And you know, you guys get um achieve all your goals with that as well. So Right. So yeah, definitely uh definitely check out the Greener Grass podcast if you haven't yet. Um we'll I guess we'll just play the the second part of of the duo here. Right. Um from Emily. Hey guys, okay. it's Emily from the Greener Grass Podcast. Steve, I am so sorry to hear that you will be leaving the podcast family, but I wish you luck in whatever you do. Thank you so much for having us on your show. It was awesome meeting you guys and fun playing Would You Rather. Uh, we hope once the world is not so fucked up to have you both as guests on our show. So hopefully, Steve, you can come out of retirement for one day and hey. join us for that. That would be awesome. So good luck, and Adam, let's keep this thing going. Of course. Bye. Yeah, uh, that's done deal. I go to Columbus all the fucking time. <laughs> right. Um, we could definitely make a day out of it. You know, vlog, whatever the hell you guys want to do. Um, and I love Would You Rather, so that's always fun. Uh, yeah, you hit me up. Um, I don't care if it's COVID or not. I know you guys aren't physically meeting together. Right. But if you ever decide to, like, be, like, hey, you know what, fuck it, you know. Um, be rebels and stuff. And test each right. other and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Take each other's temperatures. And be right. like, you got any symptoms? No, no? All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you let me know. Um, hit me up. I will make that happen for sure. For sure. Yeah, that was that was definitely a fun episode when uh, when they came on our, our podcast. We actually, I yeah. posted a bes behind the scenes video of that um, as, like, our very first ever TikTok video. Yeah. Which, like, Have you even? No, I, I posted like <laughs> right, maybe I was like gonna say, five or six. I forgot we even did yeah, that shit. Like, you know? No, but it was our first ever uh, clip on there, and it was about the, the dick for fingers You're right, 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 clip. Right. Uh, so definitely check that out. Um, and it got banned right away. <laughs> so, oh, shit. Dang. Yeah, first so, time on TikTok. So... TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> first time on TikTok getting banned. Yep. So Shoot first up. post on TikTok getting banned. So not uh, a good start. No, great start. So <laughs> shout out to them. Uh, wow. If you want awesome content, definitely check them out. Yeah, and uh, Emily, thank you for the will wishes. The well wishes. The will wishes. We all messed up today. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Shoot, I started I'm, it. My bad. I'm drunk. What's your excuse? <laughs> uh, Work. But yeah, <laughs> hit me anytime you want to do that. We can make it happen for sure. Cool. And then uh, you mentioned Would You Rather, so here we mm -hmm. go. Hey, this is Jeremiah. Wanted to give a shout to my guy Steve. <laughs> Fucking douchebag. Steve, good luck with all your future endeavors. It's been a pleasure listening to you, and you will be missed. Got a quick question. Would you rather gain magical abilities but lose the ability to speak or be fluent in all languages but you can never use the bathroom without FaceTiming the last person you dreamed about. <laughs> That's detailed. So very specific. Yeah. Yeah. So um what was it? It was magic, but you can't speak. Right. Or flu what fluent, fluent in all languages. Yeah. But you have to FaceTime who you dreamt about. Right, right, right. Last. 
Um, easy one for me, Jerry. Uh, I would definitely rather learn magic and not speak. The only thing that would suck about that for me is not being able to talk to my kids. But, you know, I could pretty much pull any bitch I want if yeah. I could just <laughs> do any magic trick. Yep. She's going to be like, oh, my I think, God. I think you give magic a little too much credit. <laughs> Like, I hey, don't magic's know if magic. Can, I don't know if you can pull any bitch with Look, magic. Look, now if I can make in a Lamborghini appear right next to me, and I'd be like twenty four karat gold Lamborghini. I mean, I guess. Come on. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Well, you of couldn't like, tell him. Come on. I, I guess I'm just thinking <laughs> you of tell like, him, hey, come here. Real world magic. What's that? Like mean? David Blaine and shit. Magic like ain't real anyway. So what's real world magic? Magic. That's what it is. We ain't talking about define magic, game. Adam. Look, man. Magic um, is is all the same. I know, but what I'm saying is real world magic. What's that? Right, but David Blaine isn't turning this fucking table into a Lamborghini. Is my point? Okay. Yet. So that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking like Yet. card tricks and like shit like that. Like, um, I guess he wasn't, which he didn't specify. Right. So yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, if you could fucking turn the table into fucking <laughs> stacks of gold, obviously you can do whatever you want. You're gonna run the world. Yes. Like he said, magic. He didn't say card tricks. He didn't yeah. say uh, rabbit hat tricks. He right. didn't say you know. It was what a I mean? very specific. Would you rather? Right. But not specific <laughs> enough with the magic. Right now, if if you if you did that shit, like I said, you would legitimately be able to basically run the world and things like oh, that. Yeah. But without talking, <sighs> that would wow. be. I mean, it's that's, a fair trade. That's crazy, right? But like, well, that I guess you could do like sign language. But being fluent right. would be nice, too, because, like, I don't know, like, whenever you go to restaurants and they speak foreign languages and you have no idea what they're talking about, now you do. Yeah, but that's not as cool as fucking... Yeah, because he said strictly speak, not communicate, so I guess I could learn sign language or some shit. Right. Or, you know. Sign language would be the best, and then you'd have, like, a reverse interpreter. So you'd, like, <laughs> sign to somebody, and then they'd talk for you. Right. You'd be like, like, Steve says, fuck y'all, bitches. <laughs> like... I would be your interpreter. Uh, I wonder if he thought of that question on his own or he got that from somewhere. Uh, he probably got it on his own. I'll give him credit yeah. for that. All right. There was so many levels to it. Yeah. You know, he just said random shit. <laughs> so it got a good answer, though. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. I, I fucks with it. Um, we got three more voice messages. Uh, before we do that, we might as well jump into uh, our first small business sponsor. What? What? Uh, ad Ooh. read for. Brew Baker Photography. Let me pull this up just so I have the right info. Um, but they just wanted to uh, kind of promote the the Facebook page, Brew Baker mm-hmm. Photography. Uh, B R U B A K E R. I did that shit without looking at my phone. So good work. Um, yeah, and basically showing some positivity in you know in the crappy time here. Uh, she takes fantastic photos. Yes. Uh, maybe doing photo shoots in the future. Not quite sure yet, but look out for that. And you can still follow the guidelines six feet apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Six feet apart. Very true. <laughs> very true. Um, and then they're going to be doing, uh, basically a segment called phone versus camera, which I'm really intrigued with. And they're going to take a, like a high quality phone camera, uh, against a DSLR camera. So like a, you know, professional camera right. and see if you can tell the difference. Um, to, I'm, I'm not like a photographer or anything, but I have a decent DSLR camera, so I can kind of tell the difference, but to an untrained eye, you might not be able to. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I would definitely check that out. Yeah, uh, sure. again, definitely follow them on Facebook, Brubaker Photography, B-R-U-B-A-K-E-R <laughs> without looking at my phone again, cause I'm a champ. Um, <laughs> But yeah, definitely follow them. Boost those numbers up. Uh, say hi. You know, send them a message. Send them well wishes. Whatever you want to do. Hit that like button. Um, but yeah, hit that like button. The share, all that kind of stuff. Definitely help them out um, because they're our first, you know, right. sponsor. So hey, big ups to you. Yeah, for that. yeah, it's a lot. Sure. Big, big shout out to them. And uh, you know, hopefully our our fans can can uh, reciprocate that love a little bit. So. And gotta show support to those local businesses. Yes, for sure, definitely. Um, cool. We got three more voice messages. Here we go. Steve, you're a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Listen, it's been great hearing you and Adam together on the podcast, and it's definitely not going to be the same without you. 
We'll all miss you, but I wish you well on this next chapter in your life. Good luck, and I hope you have fun. Thank you, Asia. <laughs> um, I did mention this before. You and you, I wonder if you thought about what I said. Mm. But you got me. I will never forget the the, the birthday, uh, the Christmas present you got me in 2014. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it was year Six 2014. Years ago. Um, she gave it to me probably a week and a half or two early. But it was like here. But I don't. That's my rule. I don't open shit before Christmas. Okay. Um, oh, but really? I was yeah. That's my own personal rule. Nice. Uh, and I was feeling on the back like, what is this? Like. What is this? And then, like a day before Christmas, I felt like I know what this is. I bet this is what I. Yup, and it sure in the hell was. And um, I will never, ever, ever forget that. And that's probably the best money at the time you could have spent on me. Um, for, for you know, for what twenty dollars or whatever you spent, less than that, it was probably the best gift you can get for that money. So. Was it driving nice. you crazy not opening it for that like, um, week and a half? No, because I didn't know and what just it was. Guessing what it was, I didn't know what it was. Like no, I was like I would play every day. I would like let me just put it down <laughs> every day, and then the day before Christmas, I was like, oh, I know what it no, is. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. And then, yep, exactly what I thought. It was. <laughs> That's awesome. You definitely gotta tell us when we're off air because yeah, remind me. Yeah, I I yeah. still don't know what it is. Yeah. Suspense is killing us. Real quick, <laughs> I have kind of a horror story, not really, but about Christmas. Like same idea though. Okay. So on a skateboard, this was when I was skating. Uh, you guys know what the trucks are on the skateboard. It's the metal part on the bottom that holds the wheels yeah. on. Yep. Yeah. The big metal part. Those are called the trucks. And I wanted these. These specific trucks, I think they were either independent or thunder. Uh, and like I have boxes and stuff, and then there's one bag, right? A gift bag. And I'm like, those are the fucking trucks. Like you can't put trucks in a box. Right. Yeah, you know, and shit like that. And I'm like, it's just, you know, and I'm playing with the bag and stuff a couple days before and shit like that and all hyped. And there, we have one rule that you can open one present on Christmas Eve. Okay. And I'm yeah, like, we do the same thing. I'm like, I'm opening the fucking trucks because right. I know what they are, right? And I, I'm probably 11 okay. here, maybe 12. And I open it, and it's a fucking robe. <laughs> <laughs> and my parents were like, we were trying to hint at you to like pick something right. else. Because these are big-ass <laughs> metal trucks. Like, they got some weight to them. Yeah. And I never, pick, like, right. thought of that when I picked up this light-ass bag. Yeah. And I'm, like, thinking they're the trucks for, like, a week. Yeah. And it, yeah, it was a fucking road. Right. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, got them. Yeah. So right. <laughs> they, they felt bad, though. They were like, I... Right, cause right. Because the whole time I was like, I'm going to get those trucks. I want those trucks. Like, right. Then. And they got them for me, but they were in one of the boxes. Got you. Like, I didn't pick up a five-pound box and be like, oh, right. this is probably the big-ass chunks Damn, of metal. Oh man. Like. That's crazy. Yeah, Damn. piss me off. <laughs> piss me off. I will never forget that. <laughs> Ever. All right, we got two more. All right. Hey, Steve. I oh, just have shit. one question for you real quick, <laughs> and I want your totally, complete, honest answer. No holding back. Who wins in a fight? Me or you? And if you want to, let's settle in real life. Um, it's been Ooh, fun bitch. listening to you this last year, buddy. <laughs> Hope, uh, you know, I know we'll continue to talk at Walmart every day, so yep. I'll still get the conversations. And Adam, uh, I know you'll succeed with this even without Steve. Uh, just keep up the good work, buddy. You're and, carrying uh, yeah, me is what he's Steve, saying. Like, I'm serious. In time, let's settle this this fight in real life. Let's go. Determined. <laughs> so um, I have to bring this up. He asked me today. What was my response? And I told him what it was in a nutshell. And I'm going to say it again on air. Taylor, I will fuck you up if you ever try to fight me. Um, but I did bring up the fact, like, dude, like, I only fuck with real people. I feel like I would have to, like, do some crazy shit, and, you know, to you and vice versa for us to ever Get into honestly that throw hands. You at each other. You know what I mean? Um but, he, okay, so I told him that what I said, right? I was like, dude, I fuck you up. And he was like, um, he was like, uh, I think I can hold my own against you. I was like, oh, yeah, I expect you to say that. You better fucking say that. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, don't ever tell somebody, like, oh, I think oh, yeah, you, you got me. me. Right. right. You know what I mean? I expect you to say that. He just laughed. So, um, I said it to his face. I'm saying it on air. <laughs> 
Taylor, if I ever came down to it, buddy, I feel bad for you. Right. I feel bad for you. I, when I first heard it, man, I'm like, look, I, I respect Taylor a lot, but I'm like, that's a dumb <laughs> fucking question. Like, no disrespect, but like, come on, dude. Like. I just, said, you know, <laughs> we would never do it. Right. I would, I would, I would love to have like a wrestling match with him, just right. to see where his power levels at. Right. You know what I mean? Everything, and he's he's like seven or eight years younger than me. So yeah, I'm surprised Got that energy. Yeah, exactly. I'm surprised. You know, um, he felt that confident in himself. Right. To, to really, he got that old man strength at this to, point. I mean, right. That's what I'm saying. Like that shit matters. You're a grown yeah. man. That like, shit matters. Yeah, like it does. you know what I mean. When you're 20. 21 something to fighting a 35 year old you really feel right. that difference in power they might not be bigger than you but they're definitely stronger yeah right. whether you want to be or not you know what i mean so uh but yeah <laughs> like i said i had to mention that that i talked to him about that one already dude i i first learned about old man strength my fucking dad pisses me off because like he's probably um he's like in between he's a little bigger than baker right like you've seen a him a little bit yeah yeah like yeah. isn't that big a no. little bigger than Baker. <laughs> I mean, He's like 180. Max. Well, I was going to say maybe 20, 20 pounds more than right. you. Right. 170, 180. I'm like 140. Right. Okay. So, yeah, he's probably 170, 180. Right, yeah. And uh, this is when I was lifting and playing football and all that. And I go to arm wrestle him, and he fucking did this all the way until I was like 16. And he'd be like, okay, go. And I'd be like, Gah! and he's like, Go and I'm like, <laughs> are you gonna start? Fuck. <laughs> and then my my best friend at the time, Derek French, came on the other side. Like, so I'm trying to put put my dad down like this. He came right here and put his hands right here and tried to pull him down. And my dad's like, "What are you guys doing?" <laughs> like, and we're like, at this point, we're like 14 or 15. Right. Like, we're not crazy strong or but anything. But y'all were athletic though. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we both football played football, and lifting, lifting two yeah. a days and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and we're not, neither of us are small guys. And the odds should be in your favor, two against one. Right, F- basically he four, ha- three hands <laughs> against one. And he's like, go. And he's like, did you not hear me? Like, go. And I, we're like, yeah. And he's like, okay, I don't know what you're waiting on. And like, like you Not fucker. even breaking a sweat right. or anything. Right. Like, uh, I had like 50 oh, pounds shit. on him at that point. Goddamn and Terminator, Plus a whole bro. nother person. Damn. And like, yeah. So I learned about old man strength pretty quickly. <laughs> and he would always, oh my God, he would always like hurt me. He'd be like, he'd be like, I bet I could hurt you with one finger. And I'm like, what the fuck right. ever? Like, no. Okay. And he, he just pow, pow, and just like start hitting me. Like, and it fucking hurt. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? He's you like, got God. one of them goddamn Terminator arms. You know, right. when you rip the skin off and just metal and shit under there. <laughs> Well, all he's done his whole life, now. all all he's done his whole life is like construction and manual labor Man, for that shit. literally the last like forty years, just every day, like That's barely crazy. takes a day off. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, so he fucked me up with one finger. <laughs> all the time, like frequently. That's crazy. Man. Fucking pissed me off. Oh, <laughs> anyway, uh, we got <laughs> we got one last message, and it's a good one to end on. Hey, Steve, it's Maddie and Alexa. Hey, Steve. Just want to let you know, I'm wishing you farewell. I'm going to miss that contagious ass laughter of yours. It gets mm-hmm. me going every time. And just like in the movies, they always cut the black guy first. <laughs> Love you, Steve. <laughs> Love you. I could tell that's where that I was mean, going as soon as she said it in the movies. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Yeah, she texted me and she's uh, like, "Like, is is it okay if I say something like this?" I was yeah, like, "Please do, right? Like, absolutely, right, yeah. right, right." Um, Alexa, whoever you are, um, <laughs> so disrespectful. I know. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Who the fuck? I'm, I'm supposed to reference her. Yeah, I don't. You've never um, met her. But, no. Um, but don't say like whoever the it. fuck you are. <laughs> I didn't say the fuck. I don't know. But that's how I. There's heard a it. huge difference. Say right. who you are and who the whoever fuck you are, you are, and then whoever the fuck you are, um, Alexa, <laughs> whoever you are, appreciate the love. These motherfuckers got more, me off my game. I was supposed to be done yesterday. <laughs> I know <laughs> you didn't think you had to come back. Fuck bitch. no, I was. <laughs> you got to prepare for everything. Hell, man, fuck that. Um, Alexa, <laughs> appreciate the love, Maddie too. Um, and the shit at the end that was that was funny. I would never would take offense to something like that, and Adam knew, knew that very yes. well. Uh, and I hope you guys keep listening. Baker's gonna do a good job. I know he is. Yeah, I appreciate it. 
Well, yeah, thank you guys for uh, sending in all your voice messages. I think everybody that I called out last week sent one in. Nice. I don't I don't think we missed a, a single person. You called so. Jordan out? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think I did. Um, but, yeah, I can't think of anybody else who uh, didn't. Maybe maybe I mentioned Jordan. I don't remember. Um, yeah. But, yeah, any... I'm pretty sure everybody I called out, you know, left us a message or left you a message. Cool. So thank you guys for that. Um, can you at least show me who the fuck Alexa is? Yeah, I definitely well, can. While we're waiting on that. I know I follow some random chicks on Instagram that sent me friend requests. Maybe one of them's her. I don't know. But uh, I need to at least yeah. see who the fuck that is. Oh, yeah. I yeah, don't you, no yeah you don't know her. Right. Shout out to you, Alexa. She's um, one of Maddie's friends. I'm sure yeah. you, um, by the way, every Alexa in the world has to be pissed the fuck off because that's <laughs> fucking turned into a machine that right. you can oh, ask yeah. questions. And I'm, every time I hear Alexa, we have one at my work and it's like, oh, she has to hate her name now. She right. has to absolutely fuck. Absolutely. Hate you know, I didn't I mean? even think of that. Yeah. So every time I think Alexa, I think of Amazon now. Do you, do you they they should have just kept it simple like Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Amazon. Who's going to name their kid? Well, then you again, know what I mean? who's going to name their kid Google? But you, <laughs> you never fucking know now. Have you met Kanye? Uh, I'm just right. saying. <laughs> My I'm next a, born kid, Google Baker. Hey, Amazon right. would have been fine. You know what I All mean? Right. You know, no, they picked the real person's name. So. Gotta love it. Um, but yeah, we, we got a couple couple more things here to to go through, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. But um, I wanted to go over the stats of like what we've done. Um, just for kind of your reference so you can kind of take the information with you, just, you know, and do whatever you want with it, brag about it or not. or uh, Put it on my resume. Right. There you go. So uh, <laughs> we had. Yo, bitch, I've I done some things. Listen, listen, listen. He's going to tell you. Here are these records. We had, as of a couple hours ago, we had 4,804 audio streams. Damn. And we had 1,230 streams on YouTube. Wow. How, when did you guys start putting them on YouTube? What, well, three months ago? Yeah. That's, Damn. We, we put the first 12 episodes on there just audio only. Right. And it just, I mean, b- between. He said, nah. You between, had to test the waters, though. Between all 12, we probably got like 150 views in all those. Yeah. Like, basically, they don't count for the most part. But, yeah, episode 40 is when we started. So, you know, three months ago up. from now. Uh, we got, you know, basically over a thousand than what streams. I expected. Yeah. yeah, way better than what I expected, yeah. man. There's so much to do on YouTube. So the fact that, you know, 1,200. Right. That's, yeah. that's crazy, man. Right. And it, it just keeps going up. Uh, 16 different countries. Oh, shit. Let me, let me actually pull them up uh, because the countries oh. we have are pretty, pretty cool, actually. Let me see here. Worldwide, man. Yep. So we got... United States, obviously. Our second highest is Ireland. What? what? And then Australia. Yeah, I want to meet some Irish chicks. Canada. <laughs> Cana- yeah. Canada. 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 Uh, United Kingdom. South Africa. Dang. Kuwait. Wow. On Kuwait. The Philippines. Okay. Yo, Brazil. We got, we got plugs in Kuwait. And man. Ethiopia. Got, oh, Dang. shit. Yeah. Dude, that's spread out. Bro. Right. That's what's up. Yeah. Wow, Ethiopia, man. Yep. Um <laughs> Wow. Our demographic, if if you couldn't fucking guess, is basically eighteen to thirty four males. <laughs> like that makes sense. Age eighteen to thirty four dudes. About us. Yeah. yeah <laughs> that's like two thirds of our <laughs> demographic. So that's expected though. Um, we also have 42 perfect ratings on oh, Apple Podcasts. Yeah. That's definitely going on the resume. Look at you going out yep. with a perfect record. Right. Yeah. Undefeated. Yeah. That's definitely going on my resume. Yep. Oh, for every job. I don't yeah. give a fuck where I'm like McDonald's. Like, it well, doesn't matter. I was. Uh, <laughs> I got a perfect record. Right. right. 52 right. episodes, 42 perfect reviews. Fuck with me. Right. That's crazy. Yeah, not not a single review under five stars. No, that's crazy. And we beg people. Right. We challenge people. Yep. Mm-hmm. To Multiple critique us. times. Like, we need feedback. Like, yo, like. Give us four, three, whatever, but justify it. Just be honest. Yeah, and right. we never got it. So, right. man, uh, if they don't say nothing, I don't know what does. Um, so, yeah, 42 perfect ratings. We still have no dislikes on YouTube. <laughs> Keep so that up. So our, our like to dislike ratio is 100% likes, which is crazy. Wow. Did they tell you how many likes you got? Um, I didn't add them up, but probably, I mean, I would guess 40 to 50. Not, not much, but on... 
Uh, but on 12 episodes, it's That's not still bad. not bad at all. I mean, yeah. even with no dislikes, though? Right, none. That's insane. Yep, zero dislikes. Uh, our Patreon just reached over $100 mm-hmm. uh, with 60 pieces of exclusive content on there. Uh, that doesn't include these episodes. Right. These will go out on the Patreon a day early, um, but then they go live in public the next day when it goes to everybody. So these don't count as an ex- you know a, a bonus episode or uh, you know a, a exclusive piece of content. So um, other than our regular episodes, there's 60 things on there, um, and I would say probably 40. Well, no, probably like. 25 to 30 of those are actual bonus episodes mm-hmm. or bonus videos of some sort, some right. behind the scenes, um, some video we did just kind of before the uh, we recorded one day, you know, just right. kind of random, yeah. random you got, stuff. You got bloopers on there? Uh, not yet. I'm putting right. it together. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll I put a blooper reel. you got a shit ton on that computer or something, yeah. man. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Uh, I just got to fucking find some time <laughs> to do it. Yeah. I feel <laughs> that's the problem. Um, but, uh, we created a website. Yes. Fully functioning website. Yes. A whole damn page. Right. AverageAFpodcast.com. If you haven't yet, please check it out. Do it. All the links to everything you could ever want regarding our podcast and our merchandise. Yep. Every episode's uploaded to there, too. Yep. Um, We might change that a little bit later down the line just because it's kind of clogging things up. But all the new episodes will be on there regardless. And they got the link for the follow. Yeah. Yep. And shout out to Stevie for that. Great work on all of it. It looks great. It does. It flows great and everything, man. So. And then as of now, uh, just a reminder, I, I, I'm pretty sure we mentioned it at the top of the show uh, yesterday, but uh, we <laughs> have merch now. Oh, yeah. Um, Get so that you merch. Can, you can find that on AverageAFPodcast.com yes. under the Support the Show tab. Uh, there's an options in there for uh, signing up for Patreon. We have the merch. We have this merch right here as well if you'd like some of that. Um, we can do that for you too. And then I know a couple people have actually uh, referenced like one time donations right. uh, rather than doing like the monthly thing or mm-hmm. something like that. So there's actually just a straight link to our PayPal as well. If you just want to throw a one time donation of a dollar or 7,000, like whatever you want to do. You know. <laughs> one dollar um, 7,000. I like it. Yeah. You know. I mean, if, if you want to meet your entire tax return is fine. Right. Too, if you want to meet us in the middle Stimulus there, checks. that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your whole household stimulus check, uh, whatever. <laughs> the whole thing. Whatever you want. Um, I can't wait for that hoodie, though. I'm yeah, pumped. I'm so pumped, too. I'm I'm probably going to order mine tonight, honestly. Okay. But um, I ordered my first thing. That and a coffee mug. I got to have my coffee. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, and I'm excited, too, because we sold $203 of merch in the first 24 hours. Um, Crazy. Yeah, and it was just patrons as well. So right. definitely check that out if, if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited that, that we were able to launch that and the website and the Patreon and all that. It's all, it's all coming it's together. crazy, man. Yeah. Um, it's a lot within a year. It's, it's a ton. Still but getting, uh, you know, uh, you know, in business school, they got what limited liability companies and corporations and shit. We should start <laughs> right. incorporating that shit right. after a while. Yeah. That's what it's starting to feel like. We're, right. we're actual fish. It's a fucking, fucking business. business. Right. We got right. logos and shit. We copyright right. that shit, Hell bro. Yeah. Right. Hey bitch, you, 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 you pay for that? Right. Did you ask us to use that? <laughs> Give me my money. You know, I don't think it really matters right now, <laughs> but yeah, for sure we will hey, eventually. No, 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 no. We ain't sure changing shit, bro. Yeah, we well, need you, it all. You went to school for that, so I'll let you handle yeah, that, man. You can be yeah. our manager. Actually, you want to be our manager? I wonder if I can get in touch with some of my old uh, business teachers. Yeah, oh, look yeah, at that. Man. Make it happen. Yeah, look into it. It's, yeah, like what it we probably costs this? probably costs a little <laughs> bit, right? Um, I don't know. As as an alumni of of the. You know, North Central State College, I should have resources for free. Um, In theory. Right. (laughs) There's only one way to find out. Right. 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 Only one way. (laughs) Well, cool. Uh, Before we wrap up here, did you want to do any last words or any advice Um, to Baker, anything like that? Only thing I want to say to you, Baker, man, like I said, push the envelope. Uh, We tried to do some things. Rona slowed us down. Um, but you know, like I said, we, we, I think the only way to really go up from here is to just kind of get out there and be in the field, talking to people, interacting with the, you know, our fans yep. and, you know, potential fans and, um, actually making an impression in people's brains, not I'm just excited. seeing us. 
behind yeah. the screen, man. So, uh, yeah, best of luck to you with all of that. Appreciate it. To all the people that have been listening over the last year, I appreciate it all. It's been fun. I've learned a lot um, about myself, about Adam, about podcasting, about the people that, you know, listen, all that good stuff, man. It's all been a, a hell of a journey. So, and I thank you for all the well wishes once again. Yeah, cool. man. So. Well, yeah, guys, uh, you know, obviously I appreciate Steve for going on this ride with me for 52 weeks. It's, been, it's insane. It's been a wild one. <laughs> um, yeah. Or I guess like 50 weeks, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But right. 52 episodes. A on, while. Yes, a long fucking time, basically. <laughs> and uh, I'm really excited for Baker to kind of start. Uh, we're going to transition next week and go from there. And hopefully same content, you know, we'll just adapt and go right. from there and, right. and all that kind of stuff. But That's right. Um, yeah, guys, thank you guys for checking out episode 52. Like we said, this week's going to be a little shorter than normal, but, uh, thank you, hope you guys, yes, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, shout out real quick to Brubaker Photography. Oh yeah. For being our first small business sponsor. Like and follow. Yes. Please like and follow their Facebook page. Uh, and share. Yes. Share, comment, interact with them, send them messages, all that kind of stuff. Let them know we sent you. Um, but we do appreciate you guys and... For the last time. We out.